Buying any computer is a mentally taxing event. Here are the top five things you should consider before buying a Google Chromebook. And number five, can you do everything in a browser? Google's Chrome OS is essentially the company's web browser expanded to a desktop screen. Most things that run on the web will run on a Chromebook. Intensive tasks like video editing or photo editing are not exactly great on the web, so make sure your usage matches the capability of a web browser. At number four, does the Chromebook run Android apps? Google announced that Android apps will run on certain Chromebooks. Let me repeat that, certain Chromebooks. At the time of this recording, only three Chromebooks support Android apps with more coming in the future. And if you want to use Android apps on Chromebooks, they are a bit quirky, which brings us to number three. Does the device have a touchscreen? If Android apps are important to you, you'll really want a touchscreen on that Chromebook. Android apps were not built with a trackpad or keyboard in mind. They are built to be tapped. If Android isn't a big deal to you, then you have more options. At number two, your Google password. This is an odd one. When you log into a Chromebook, you sign in with your Google account. Personally, I don't know my password because it was generated by a password manager. If you have a phone with Android 5.0 or higher, you can use that phone to unlock your Chromebook using a feature called Smart Lock. So consider how you will log into a Chromebook before buying one. And then number one is cost or value. Yeah, it's an obvious number one, so let's talk about something else that might be as important. Can you wait? Reports from a number of publications say Google will release several devices that combine Android and Chrome OS in a way that should be different than Android grafted onto Chrome OS. But that's just a rumor, right? It's not like Google just destroyed its Nexus phone line in favor of its own Pixel brand. Wait a second. Got other ideas? I'd love to hear them. I'm at Ayaz on Twitter, and I'll see you online. Happy birthday, Jenny.